let's actually go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so let's get the box open. I'm gonna pull it out. So Ubiquiti just released their Dream Machine Pro Match, and I've got to say that they have some perfect timing because of course they decided to do this just a few months after I bought my UDM Dream Machine Pro. Now this thing is a powerhouse, so let's go ahead and check out some of its specs, compare it to its predecessor, and decide whether or not you should pick it up. Let's get into it. So the UDM Dream Machine Pro Max just released on April 23rd, 2024, and this thing is a powerhouse, and definitely an upgrade in some aspects in comparison to its predecessors, the UDM Special Edition and the UDM Pro. And some of its features include a quad-core ARM Cortex-A57 2 gigahertz processor and 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, which allows it to support throughput for up to 5 gigabits per second routing with IDS and IPS features enabled, and also support up to 200 different unified devices with over 2,000 different clients that can all be supported using just one Dream Machine Pro Max. Now, this thing has one 10 gigabit SFP plus LAN port and eight one gigabit per second RJ45 LAN ports. And it also has one 10 gig SFP plus WAN port along with one 2.5 gigabit RJ45 port. It also has not one, but two 3.5 NVR HDD bays with RAID data protection and one built in 128 gigabyte SSD for NVR detection recordings. And it also still maintains maintains that 1.3 inch uh, touchscreen on the front of it. Now those specs might sound a little similar to the UDM Pro and the UDM Special Edition, and that's because they kind of are. The major distinction between this one and its predecessors is the fact that it's a little bit stronger. Instead of it only having four gigs of RAM, like the Pro and the SE do, this thing actually has eight gigabytes of RAM. And it also has a 2.0 gigahertz processor as opposed to the 1.7 gigahertz that the Pro and the SE have. So the UDM Pro Max is definitely a lot stronger and that's the reason why it's able to support that 5 gigabit per second throughput with IDS and IPS features as opposed to the 3.5 gigabits per second throughput that the prior two can support. Another difference in terms of specs is the fact that the UDM Pro Max actually has 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage versus its predecessors, which only have 16 gigs of eMMC storage. Additionally, with this upgrade in RAM and processing power, the UDM Pro Max is able to support upwards of 200 unified devices and 2,000 clients versus the 100 unified devices and 1,000 clients that the UDM Pro and UDM SE can, if you do need that in your environment. Another upgrade is the fact that the UDM Pro Max also comes with two NVR storage bays as opposed to the one and also enables you to utilize RAID to have that additional data protection that you might need with some of your recordings that you're actually saving on these hard drives. And of course, that's a major upgrade given the fact that you're limited to only one hard drive with its prior predecessors and they can't support RAID at all. Now, these upgrades don't just come without a drawback. Of course, they gotta take something when they give you something. And that's the fact that the UDM Pro Max actually doesn't have PoE. It can't support PoE, meaning if you have those cameras and those wireless access points connected to your UDM SE right now, and you want to upgrade, you're going to have to buy a switch, a PoE switch or some PoE injectors uh, because your UDM Pro Max won't be able to support that. And I think that's one of my biggest complaints. I think I understand why they did that and I'll tell you here in a second, but that's definitely a complaint that I have and I've, I've seen a lot of other people also complaining about this. Now another change is the fact that the UDM Pro Max is actually going back to green link lights for stuff as opposed to the UDM SC which is just using white. Uh, but I find that interesting because then the previous predecessor to that, the UDM Pro, also used green. So why they're flip-flopping back and forth and wasting their time having their engineers change this up is beyond me. But hey, I guess you need to have some sort of change, right? Now one additional upgrade that the UDM Pro Max does have, which it actually copies from the SE, is the fact that it does have the 2.5 gigabit per second WAN port and 10 gigabit SFP WAN port uh, in comparison to the UDM Pro, which only has a 10 gigabit SFP and one gigabit RJ45 WAN port. Again, it's only an upgrade when you're going from the UDM Pro to the UDM Pro Max, and it's the same if you're coming from the UDM SE to UDM Pro Max. So if you're already with the SE, that's one thing you're gonna wanna consider. You're not getting any additional throughput at a poor port level. Now, in terms of overall power consumption of the UDM Pro, max it's sitting right in the middle at 60 watts in comparison to the UDM Pro at 33 watts and the upwards of 330 watts that the UDM SC pools and that makes sense because it's got more processing power and RAM in comparison to both these devices which makes it pull more than the UDM Pro however it doesn't support PoE which is going to cause it to not pull nearly as much power as the uh, UDM SC would now who is this device for and should you pick it up 
Even though you didn't ask, I'm gonna give you my opinion anyways. I'm gonna have to say Fuck no! It kinda depends. So, if you really require PoE and you're not trying to pick up a PoE switch, and you don't have as many devices which require you to have one, I'm gonna say it's probably not worth it. The upgrade in terms of throughput is great. However, if you're just a general home lab user, you're probably not hitting the max throughput that you can get with the UDM Pro or SE, meaning you don't really need that additional power. However, if you are, and you don't really care about PoE, or you already have a PoE switch, it might be worth the upgrade. Now, if you're a small to medium sized business, I would definitely recommend picking up the UDM Pro Max. And that's because you're gonna get the best bang for your buck in terms of performance. And you're probably gonna need some sort of additional switch anyways, given the number of devices that you will probably be connecting to, meaning you'll probably need a PoE switch anyways. So the UDM Pro Max not having PoE isn't gonna be a big deal to you. And that's what I'm thinking Ubiquity was aimed at. I'm thinking they were definitely looking more towards those businesses or those super nerdy home lab guys who only care about performance and want the biggest and brightest and shiniest thing and overall i think that's what ubiquity was aiming at they were going for those guys who want the brightest and shiniest thing and want the most power they can possibly get or those small to medium sized businesses who really need that performance they weren't really aimed at the home lab users which thumb still might pick it up anyways given the fact that they're getting a poe switch uh, but that's just my two cents uh, you can do whatever the f you want to do all right, so now that we've reviewed the specs on the UDM Pro Max, let's actually go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so let's get the box open. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh! <laughs> Got him! Gotcha. I'm just kidding, I ain't got the UDM Pro Max right now. This ain't a sponsor video, so uh, if you wanna see that, I'm gonna leave a link to someone who actually did get an early release of the UDM Pro Max in the description below. Anyways, let me know if you guys are gonna pick it up. Let me know if this is something that you think you want, uh, and tell me if you think it's worth picking up. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope I was able to get a laugh out of you. Let me know if you're gonna pick up the UDM Pro Max and if you think it's worth the upgrade. Drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be giving a Raspberry Pi 5 away when I hit 500 subscribers. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.